All right, what is up YouTube? We're back with another how to sound like video. So in these videos, I ask y'all to go down in the comments and comment a new artist for me to do. So go ahead and do that now or after you watch this video, whenever you want to. So in my first how to sound like video, which was Joji, I got a request from Ninja Tyrone and he said to do a how to sound like Kuko. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So another big thing is I made a discord which will be a chat room and it's gonna have two things It's gonna have one where you can just talk about music and then it's gonna have another section where you can send in your songs and get feedback from everybody else who is in the discord so be sure to go down below click on that link join the discord and we can all send each other our songs and get our feedback from each other because a lot of y'all will comment stuff in my videos and I'm like hey I didn't think of that so I'm really just trying to create a community where we can all give constructive criticism on each other's music. So be sure to go down, join that Discord right now. So let's hop right in. I usually start these videos with no instruments in, but I went ahead and I tested out what the organ would sound like. Because Kuko makes, I mean, his genre is really unique. It's... It's kind of like has a lot of psychedelic rock elements into it. The way he does his vocals, I can hear like Hobo Johnson, Tyler the Creator type vibes with the psychedelic rock background. So what I did first is I went up here and I changed the BPM to 100 to keep it not too fast, you know. So the funky organ, I threw this in. You can just go in here. Uh, it's on piano and keys, funky organ. It's one of these right here. So what I did is I actually have four organs. This first one is kind of the intro, so it brings everything kind of together, and then we hop into the verse, and then this is where our chorus is going to be. All right, so on these organs, instead of having them all hit at the same time, where it's just like, duh, I kind of have them wave in, so it's like, do no 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 and it kind of gives that psychedelic, wavy feel to it. So let's say I didn't do that. Let's hear how it would sound compared to when I did do it. It's a little bland, so now that I have that wave in, when I threw in the funky organ, I took down the brights, the highs and the mids to kind of focus on the lows, get kind of a chill vibe to it. So this funky organ right here is the intro, and this one I had focused on the highs. And then this organ is gonna be kind of the melody when the verse chords start coming in. And then right here, so Kuko likes to have like little rock drum breakdowns and then it gets into the chorus. So we're going to try to do that. I mean, we're obviously not going to get anywhere near his expertise in it. So when the drum breakdown happens, I kind of have this little downward riff. And then it gets into the chorus. Another thing that I did with the verse organ is I made it vary by adding automations to the motion. So the motion is what's going to give you that wave feel. So I have it like kind of going up and down. And the way I did that is I just went, you know, like clicked here, click here, draw that up. So as you play it, you kind of hear it waving. And that adds that unique touch to the instrument. And then the organ on the chorus, I don't have it do the wave kind of unique feel. So let's just hop right in. Let's so let's just hop right in. Let's draw out these drums. So most of these drums that I'm going to be doing is going to be in my new sound pack, which is going to be available soon. Get ready for that. So I have this snare, which is really kind of lo-fi. I have some hi hats and stuff. But let's hop right in. Let's throw in this kick. So I want the kick to happen right when this little downward riff happens. So it's like, and then let's maybe do another one right here. There we go. And before we draw the pattern for the kick and the chorus, let's go ahead and throw in our snare because when I do my patterns for my kicks, I usually want to have my snare in first. So we're going to be using my low snare. Obviously you can use any snare that you want as long as you add effects to it and make it kind of sound a little bit unique. So let's just play out this chorus and let's throw in the kicks when we want them. So obviously we're going to want one right here. 
All right, so the kick's a little louder than the snare, and I don't r technically want that. So we're gonna throw on a glue compressor, and we're gonna bring the kick down just a little bit. Let's also bring this one down so it varies, you know. And then we're gonna bring this snare up a little bit. All right, so now let's work on this little breakdown. So let's see if this is gonna sound good. All right, that sounds good, but let's add another snare. Let's go back to my sound pack. I like this one. Maybe let's try this. There we go. But this is a little bit too loud, so let's go back to our audio effects. Bring that down a little bit. Let's actually throw this after every snare. I kind of like how that sounds. There we go. All right, now let's work on hi-hats. And you can throw in like any hi-hat you want as long as you make like a little pattern to it. I like that, but I kind of want it to be a little offbeat and a little funky. So something like this. Let's solo this. It's a little stretched, so let's turn it to Complex Pro. And then I don't want it to be too heavy on the highs, so let's throw in an EQ. There we go. And then let's have these hi-hats be complemented with another set of hi-hats. There we go, let's do the same thing, because these are probably going to be stretched, because our BPM is pretty low. Yeah. Alright, now let's have these first hi-hats. Let's name these hi-hats left, and then let's name these hi-hats right. So now let's throw on a utility, and on this right we can move these, let's say 23 to the left, hold down control, drag it over here, move this one 23 to the left. So now let's listen to, to them together. I like that. Alright, so... Let's actually throw in these hi-hats at the breakdown, so it kind of leads into the hi-hat. So let's listen to this breakdown again. All right, so I like the chorus, but it's lacking some more instruments. You know, it's lacking some more sounds. So let's right-click, insert MIDI track, and I kind of want to throw in a synth lead, but I want it to be a little soft, like that. So let's, instead of drawing out a MIDI selection, let's hold down control, bring this down. So we know what chords we want, but on this lead, I kind of want to do an arpeggiator, just like we did in the Rich Brian video. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. And when you do these arpeggiators, you usually want them to be all hitting at the same time. So there we go. Now let's throw on that arpeggiator. Go to MIDI effects. Throw that arpeggiator on. Let's listen to this. I like that. Let's have it focused on the lows. And then let's have this organ. Oh, we already have an EQ on it. And it's focused on the mids, so that's perfect. All right, so let's throw in another instrument. And to kind of match with that psychedelic rock feel, we're going to add an electric, an electric guitar. So let's go to our instruments. Let's go to Guitar and Plucked. Just go through these. This is going to sound good because it kind of has that rock feel to it. So for the guitar, we're going to stick to a melody. Um, 
So this is when it comes down to you making your own kind of melodies and experimenting with them. So let's just try out a few notes and see how they sound. All right, I like this. So let's add a few audio effects. Let's add an overdrive maybe. I like that reverb, but let's also throw on a chorus after the reverb to kind of give that electric guitar feel to it. And that kind of buffers that overdrive a little bit. All right, so now let's EQ this guitar and make it focused on the highs because we have these background notes more focused on the lows slash mids and then these focused on the mids so we need an instrument we don't need an instrument but we want an instrument kind of focused on those highs so maybe take off a little bit of that all right so now that we have our drums done and our instruments done let's listen to this drop that i tried to craft let's see how it sounds All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm gonna go touch up this beat, see if I can get some Kuko vocal effects in. Probably not gonna be very good, but let's see how it works out. So I'll play a little snippet of that in 30 seconds. Go down, comment the next artist that you want me to do. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Hit that bell to know when I make another How to Sound Like video. I also have a big video coming up next. It's gonna be on vocal effects and how to mix your vocals. So that's coming up soon. Be sure to join that Discord. Constructive criticism only, all right? We're not gonna just be sending, hey, that's trash, listen to this song, you know, because that doesn't help anybody. You can say, hey, those chords are a little light. You can add some blah, 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 blah. Hey, the vocals are a little too slow. You can blow, blah. That's constructive criticism instead of just saying, hey, the chords are bad and your vocals are bad, all right? Peace. It's all me. You're me. I know you.